Hey guys, welcome back to the channel of Jimmy is Promo. And today I want to share with you how you're able to put a different notification sound for a different application. So this way, maybe if you're getting a call or you're getting a text or something through Messenger, you're able to hear a different tone come through so you know where that notification is coming from or you can change the vibration pattern for what is coming through. So this was something that was asked to me earlier today. Someone was getting out of the S9, got the S22 Ultra, didn't know how to do it. They love that feature. And so I, I shared with them how they're able to do that. This video right here is also gonna help them as well. And hopefully it helps you too. So first off, I do wanna show you how you're able to get this done with different vibration patterns because you are able to get this one done if you're getting a text or a call. So for example, this right here, a ringtone, you can see that I have this one set for Galaxy, notification sound is set to calm. If you go to ringtone, then you can go up here and you can do this vibrate while ringing. And through here, you can now change the pattern. So if you're getting this ripple pattern, you know it's a call. If it's a cricket pattern. So all you have to do is kind of feel what this feels like. I have this one set to telephone. So if I feel this vibration pattern in my pocket or I hear it on a table, then I know I'm getting a phone call. Now for me, the call vibration pattern is much more important than a different sound for a different application because my phone is actually never in the sound mode. It's always in vibrate mode or vibration mode. So this thing is always vibrating in my pocket or on a table. And so now I know exactly if I'm getting a call, text, or a different application. So through here, through ringtone, you can change that, that little vibration pattern. Same thing with the notification sound. Again, uh, you can go on the very top and you can change what it's going to do with a notification. You have gallop, fireworks, dubstep, and I know you can't really hear it or feel it through the microphone, but it is pretty cool to go through and see what all these do. Find one that's pretty distinctive and makes sense to you if you're getting a notification versus a call. So this way, when you do feel that, then you're gonna be able to know what is coming through. Same thing with your sound. You can go through and there's a bunch of them. So this is a Galaxy Sounds right here. Down here is going to be a bunch of them that's underneath calm. So if you're looking for something a bit more calming, if you want something a little bit more fun, a little bit more retro, I mean, there's a lot going on here. And then again, add on top of that, the different vibration patterns you're able to use. Now, I also wanted to show you this as well. I use Google Messages, not Samsung Messages, but within even Google Messages, you can go through and you can even change the sound per conversation. So this is the sound notification sound that comes through when I get a text message from the wife and you can put in a different notification sound for different conversations. So if you needed to do it through different conversations through Google Messages, you are able to do that. And then now I wanna show you how you can set this one kind of up for a different application. So originally through a normal app notification, we had it all set up. But if you want something different for maybe let's say Messenger, you can go inside of Messenger, then you can go inside of notifications and then inside of notifications, you wanna go right here, notification categories. Now for all of the chats, I'm gonna have this one set up as a calm sound. Or you can go to music box, you can go to piggy bank. So if you wanted piggy bank to be the sound for chats, then that's how it's gonna be set up. You can even do one for a particular notification, you know, or a, a particular messenger chat. So this is my big family one. And beforehand you saw, I was using that piggy bank one. You can see here, this is using a default notification sound of guitar. I can now switch it over into shrink ray. So now I have shrink ray set up for this conversation that is just called big family. But if I go to chats, then you're gonna be able to see that this one is still set up for piggy bank. So let's do this with another application just so you kind of see what we're doing. And again, let's go to Gmail. Let's tap on the very top for that I. Uh, we're gonna go inside of notifications. We're gonna go to notification categories. Now for this one, you're gonna have different categories for the different emails that you may have. So I'm gonna go to mail. And then inside of mail for my normal Gmail, here's that sound. It was normally using uh, that, that guitar sound. I can use welcome now if I wanted to. And then now when I hit back, now I have a notification sound that's coming from this particular Gmail for that sound. And if I wanted to, I can go through my other emails and you, I can do the same thing. So that's pretty much the same for really any other application. So if there's other applications you get notifications from and you wanna put in a different tone or whatever for those, you're able to do that. And then you can go through that vibration pattern and switch it between a different pattern for if you're getting a call versus a text. And that is also super beneficial and helpful, again, for anybody who is like me, who is always on vibrate mode. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you appreciate this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. 
and I'll see you guys later.